Hello everyone. Welcome to this class. And before starting to this course, just I want to tell me something about what is stop motion. Basically, this is the course about making a stop motion project, and this is the course about doing a stop motion slideshow using Adobe After Effects. Initially, just I need to tell something about stop motion. Stop motion means, for your brief understanding, I want to take one new composition. The shortcut is Control plus N in PC and Command plus N in Mac. This is my composition. I want to rename it as Basic. And I want to take one solid. The shortcut is Control Y, Control plus Y in PC and Command plus Y in Mac. I'm giving a white color for clear understanding. And initially, just I need to take ellipse tool. And I want to give it a mask. So go to comp settings once. Just here it's 30 frames per second. Just I don't need that one. I am making it some one second for a clear understanding. And just now I need to animate this guy. Go to the position. P shortcut is P and animate in X axis and again after 20th frame animate again in negative X axis so it will come to the first position and again it will reach to the last frame it will go again to this negative x position so i want to make all these keyframes in ease and ease the shortcut is f9 okay just we will play once the shortcut is space so this is a normal animation and i want to make it a stop motion so go to the composition settings the shortcut is control plus k PC and command plus K in Mac. Just go to that one and the initial frame rate here is 29.97. But if you want to lower the frame rate of this animation, just change from 29 to 10. Just I am giving 10 frames per second here. See, my animation is looking very, very sharp and basically. When you are working any movies or anything else, the frame rate is standard frame rate is 24 frames per second. But when you are doing a stop motion, just I will prefer to say and use 8 frames per second. That is the best for your most stop motion graphic project. And this is the first method of making a stop motion. And again, I want to go back to the composition settings once. Again, I need to put some 29.97. Now I am going to show the second technique of doing a stop motion. Yes, go to the effects and presets. Once, type posterize time. Before doing that, I want to take one adjustment layer. And apply this posterize time over here in the adjustment layer. Don't apply this posterize time effect directly to the particular layer because it won't work at all. Always take an adjustment layer before taking a posterize time. Now I am playing. However, before it's playing like the 20 because here the frame rate is still 24, but I need to give it some around 8. See, now we are getting the same stop motion result. Even though we are having the comp settings as 29.97 as our frame rate. Okay, this is the second technique. And I am going to delete this adjustment layer. And now I am going to play new. The third technique. Third technique means open the position. Just I want to separate the dimensions of X and Y. Click to the position and here click separate dimensions. So now the X position and Y position is totally separated. Okay. Now I want to 
click the alt in x position in pc shortcut is and now type it posterize time in this brackets just you need to give your frame rate i am giving 8 and parenthesis and go to the second line and i want to type value and give parenthesis that's it it's finished but here this is only applying only for x position but particularly in some cases if you want to apply for only one position or one rotation you have to go for this expression but if you want to do stop motion for entire project means posterize time is the best option for you and again i want to copy the same posterize time here and again go to the next position same paste copy the value also here same go to the second line see now you see the exactly the same result which we applied with using the posterize effect and with the frame rate settings so hope you understand something about the stop motion and in the next class i am going to show you how to make a fully animated stop motion slideshow